Aleluya. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jump on, jump on, people. Welcome, survivalists, to the survivalist group, and welcome those of you who are jumping on on YouTube. You are welcome. Amen. Greetings, 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 greetings to all of you as you come on. Greetings to all of you as you come on. Amen. Jump on, jump on, invite your people, share your links. Jump on. This is gonna be amazing. We're gonna have a powerful time in the presence of God. Amen. Amen and amen. Let me hear from you. Greet each other. Say hello to each other. Blessings, blessings as you come on. Blessings as you come on. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. How is everyone this evening? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're all excited and raring to go. We're going to have a powerful time here. And as you know, we have our special guest, very special guest, Apostle Oscar Gwabadia is here with us. Greetings to you. Greetings to you all as you come on. Greetings to you all as you come on. God bless you all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I just want you all, even now, just to prepare your hearts for the word of the Lord. This is going to be a powerful time in the presence of God. We are going to be talking about mantles today. Hallelujah. We're going to get, definitely going to get a powerful teaching, some preaching, some impartation, some activations, and possibly if the Lord wants some prophecy as well. I know that this is a very timely live, a very timely live, because the Lord is telling us that it's time for us to position ourselves. Women, especially, it's time for us to position ourselves. You know, and I hear the word of the Lord saying, what are you wearing? Because it's how we dress, it's how we will be addressed. Hallelujah. I'm talking to every type of apostolic woman. And we know that we are all apostolic in one way or another. Because we have all been sent off to do something. We all had assignment. We have all been positioned to blaze a trail. Hallelujah. So the Lord is speaking to us powerfully, even in this time, to position ourselves to blaze trails. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm glad that you've joined me here today for Womanto. And that is the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord. I heard them talking about mantles that women will be receiving, mantles that women already have that are not even sure, not even confident about what they have. So I heard the Lord talking to me about mantles. And now the Lord is telling me, Womanto. Were mantled. You are mantled for great exploits. Hallelujah. You are mantled for great exploits. Glory be to God. So without further ado, I don't want to keep you too long here. I want to pass on. I want to introduce our very special guest to come in and to speak to us today. So before I do that, I want to lift up a word of prayer. So we can all open our mouths and begin to pray that Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
We thank you, Lord, for this evening. We thank you for this time in your presence. We thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do in the lives of your people. We thank you, Lord, for what you will continue to do in the lives of your daughters, especially, Father. I pray that their hearts will be open to receive your word today. I pray that their ears will be open to receive your word today, Father. I pray that every revelation that they did not get even up to now, that they will receive it with power in the name of Jesus. I declare, Lord, that there will be authority. They will walk in their authority. They will walk in their strength. They will walk in confidence. No more fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do what only you can do in this place today in the name of Jesus. Speak through us, Lord. Speak through your servants, O Father. I pray, O Father, that this will be a time of transformation, a time of empowerment, a time of teaching, a time of activation in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce our very special guest come in and join us. Welcome, Jackie. Apostle. Welcome. Well, thank you for Take having me. Take the stage. Today, Take the stage. You <laughs> are the very stage. welcome. <laughs> the stage is mine today, right? <laughs> the stage is completely yours today. Completely yours right. today. So awesome. free. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. This indeed is the day that the Lord has made. This today. <laughs> All right. So I want to thank Jackie, my daughter, for this wonderful honor to have me on her, on her page. Um, I'm not sure why she's got me on her page. There are a lot of great people she could have, you know, chose around the world. She chose her father. But thank you, everyone, for joining today. If you are a woman, of course, you are a lot of women here. Um, please tag a woman, tag a leader, tag someone whom the church has ostracized and say that they cannot preach the word of the Lord Tag a woman whom the church has said that she sounds a certain way, acts a certain way, does things a certain way. Tag a woman that the church has called a complementarian. Tag a woman whom we believe the church has called, well, they are not re really called for the pulpit. Tag a woman that's tired of the status quo. Tag a woman who you believe that the Lord has called for this season, but the church has muzzled their voices. Tag a woman who you believe the Lord has called to be a pioneer, a revolutionary. Tag a woman who is a prophet, a woman who is an apostle. Tag a woman who you believe the Lord has called for this time to be the voice of reform. I mean, a voice of reform. And if you are in this place as a woman, you need to type that on the comment and say, I am a voice of reform. One more time. I am a voice of reform. Look at me one more time again. Tag a friend. Tag a, a sister, tag some. If you tag the men as what well, they need to know that the women are called for such a time as this, and tag it and, and say, I am a voice of reform. If you know the Lord has called you to be a voice in this season, say, I am a voice of reform. Listen, we are tired of how you've been treated. Listen, you are beyond conception and having a baby, and that's all. No, there is something to your call. Say, I am a voice of reform. One more time. I am a voice of reform. If you know that you have been labeled that you cannot preach God's word, if you know that you have been labeled that you cannot prophesy, if you know that you have been labeled that you cannot release the sound of the Lord, you need to come on here and tag a friend and tell them, I am a voice of reform. Tell them. Whilst we go into the word of the Lord tonight, tell them. Because tonight will change your mind and change your status. There are a lot of people in this place. God will raise up apostles and raise up prophets and raise up pastors and raise up you know, teachers and raise up all fivefold and evangelists. Tonight, God is raising men and so women and men and men. But the emphasis is on women today. God is restoring again the apostolic call on the women again and the prophetic call. I believe this is a season of Lord restoring again the women who will bring reform to the church. I believe God is saying that my spirit has been poured upon the flesh and your daughters and your sons shall prophesy. I believe this is the season of great awakening. This is the season of great reform. I believe this is the season of great harvest in the name of Jesus. If you know that the Lord has called you to be a voice of reform, you need to say one more time to yourself, I am a voice of reform. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell them that a man 
is validating their call. Tell them that the man is calling them out to stand and rise up and release the sound. Tag a friend, tag a woman and tell her, tell her there was a man who really wants her to express her call. Tag a woman and tell her there was a man who's, who's trusted her call. Tag a woman and tell her that God is raising voices of reform. I mean, God is raising voices of reform. If you know that you are a woman and you know that you have a call and you know that you are afraid of expressing yourself just because the church has ostracized size you because the church has chucked you aside because the church has said things about you because the church has told you to shut up because the church has muzzled your voice but you know there is something in your inside and tonight is a night of release i'm talking to someone in this place tonight is a night of release i believe god's word Guess what? God began to deal with me and many of you women in this place. Uh, there is something the church has put upon you. Not because you are barren by nature, but the church has literally, they've locked up your womb. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. The charismatic church has locked up your womb. The evangelical church has locked up your womb. The Catholic church has locked up your womb. The, even the Episcopal churches have locked up your womb. And the church is saying, where is your baby? But the reason why there is no baby, because they've locked up your womb. But tonight God said, I'm releasing even sons and daughters, even in this place and there shall be a release of a sound i'm speaking to people who know the lord has called them but the church is holding them back i'm speaking to women in this place who have a call but the church say that you're good for nothing oh you cannot prophesy in the church oh you cannot preach to the men but god tonight is saying to tell the women this is the night of great reform god will do something that will shift you that will change you and change your status quo i'm talking to the woman who has been called to prophesy to the nations i'm talking to the woman who have been called to prophesy to cities I'm talking to the woman who will bring reform if you know in this place that you call for such a time as this this is your season of great revolution I'm speaking to great revolutionaries I'm speaking to the women who have the call of the Lord on their life I'm speaking to you prophets and apostles who are being called to release a sound it is time to lift up your shofar and blow your shofar this is the clarion call of the woman arise all women from your sleeping place Arise, all oh women, from your place of brokenness. You are not just born, you're not just created to have babies and die. No, you're not just created to be sex machine. No, you're not just created to serve your masters. No, you're not just created to be second class citizens. No, who told you you've been subjugated? But God is raising the women who are being called to be revolutionaries in this city. I understand the blessings that comes in marriage, but a lot of you, you've settled for marriage and not ministry. But God is calling for the women in this place it's time to rise up from your place of pain it's time to rise up from where you've been broken this is the season of the rise of the women where are the apostles where are the prophets where are the evangelists where are the pastors and teachers rise up we've tried as men to make things work we fade we've tried as men to make the world the world work we fade we thought we can do this ourselves we fade we try to preach the gospel but we fail. we try to lay hands on people but we fail. there's so much commotion going on in the church i see my brother killing brothers as well i see the church is not working because the men have failed to surrender what they don't understand the reason why we are such in such a mess because we've ostracized the women we've done everything we could do but nothing is working and God is sent to tell the women we need you in this season there is a voice of reform that has been hidden all this while there is a voice of reform that has been muzzled all this while there is a voice of reform that has been shut up all this while but God is saying it's time for the women to rise up rise up all sleeping Zion rise up all mothers rise up all mothers rise up all sisters rise up all prophetesses this is the time to rise up the voices of the prophets and the voices of the apostles this is the day of reformer a day of revolution a day of reformation a day of revival i'm speaking to those women who are tired of being tired of being tired are tired of the black male and black hole are tired of all the things that have been put upon them this is the season of the rise of the woman i am speaking to a woman may i say to you you are more than boobs and butter you are something god has created for us for youth on the earth 
You are more than boobs and butts. Mama time again. You are created for a purpose on the earth. You can afford to be just a mother and not a mother in the Lord. You can afford to be a mother and not a woman called to ministry. We are tired of labeling the women. But God is raising people who will not bow to the systems of the world. And God is raising people who will not bow to Baal. I'm speaking to the women. The church say that you cannot prophesy. The church say that you cannot preach. The church say you cannot cast out demons. It's amazing because all we give the women in the church is to be in the choir and be in the media and be Sunday school superintendent. And the men cannot cast out no demon. But God is raising women like Deborah's in this place who will scream from their belly and say, Lord God, send down your glory. This is the generation of the glory seekers. And God is calling the women and say, Women, it's time to speak forth. For you are my glory seekers. I'm speaking to those of you. God to release a sound. I'm speaking to those of you. God to be a voice of reformer. Where are the women? Raise up your voices and scream from where you are. You are called in this time. Raise up your voice and shout from where you are. God is raising the woman. You will not bow. This is the generation of those called to be a voice of reform. I promise you I don't want to spend all the time in the world. I'm a man and I understand the men are getting upset. Because I come, you thought, I come, you, you're preaching on stage and talking about the women. I thought you went to a conservative theological seminary. I thought you went to a school that was about the women. One minute. One minute, guys. I thought uh, you went to school uh, that is about the, uh, a conservative theologian. Uh, uh, as a conservative theologian, uh, you shouldn't be preaching about the women. Uh, but one of the things that conservative theology has done, uh, it has choked God on the neck, in the neck. Uh, and God is asking for breath. Uh, why? Because the church has brought in doctrines and dogmas uh, that is anti the scripture. We've choked God on the neck. Uh, and God is trying to breathe. Uh, and God says, man, you've tried to bring, bring, make things work. Uh, but things are not working. Uh, it's time for the women to rise up again. Uh, it's time for them to release their sound. God is raising again the women in this season. Do you understand who you are? You are more than just a bay and boo. You are more than just a boobs and butt. You are called for this time to be a voice. A voice that will change the nations of the world. A voice that will bring reform to the church. We need your voice to speak for her. Where are the seers and where are the prophets? Give them to release the sound in this season. And God is saying there is something beyond her. Your mascara and your eyelash. There is something beyond her. Your she voice and all you go through. And God is calling you in this season to release a sound who told you the women cannot roar who told you the women cannot release a sound who made the women look like cab look like they are bleating sheep but God is saying I'm raising lionesses in this place those whose voice will shake the nations of the world I'm raising women in this place those who will not bow to the systems of the world I'm raising men and women in this place especially you women the last time they say to you you are a woman you cannot preach the word of the Lord but I come with the word of the Lord tonight and I'm saying to every woman in this place where the church has ostracized you where the church has kicked you out where the church say that you will not prosper where the church say that you are erratic but God is raising women in this city now who will mount on the podium and release the word of the Lord without fear or favor God is raising her even the radical prophetesses and the radical apostles and the radical evangelists and the radical teachers and and the radical pastors uh, and God is raising women in this place uh, who will say Lord God uh, I'll stand with you uh, I'm talking about people like Ruth uh, who will say your God will be my God uh, your people shall be my people I'm not going back to Moab uh, I'm not going back to silence uh, I'm not going back to ridicule uh, I'm not going back to shame uh, I'm not going back to pain uh, I'm not going back to the mess uh, you've shut my voice too long uh, where are the women uh, who will look at the men uh, and say to the men uh, you've shut my voice voice too long. You've muzzled my voice too long. There was something boiling in my spirit. It's called the Nabi grace. It's called the grace of the prophet. I have a word in my mouth. I want to prophesy. We waited for the men. They could not prophesy the coronavirus. We waited for the men. They could not prophesy the election. We waited for the men. They could not prophesy. And the church is split between conservative prophets and yet nothing is working. But the Lord has given the women the word of the Lord for this time. God said to tell the women it's time to rise up and release my word am I speaking to a woman I wish you tag the woman I wish you call the woman in I know it's a group but you need to call a woman in and tell a woman that there's a word of the Lord for them tonight that God is calling them beyond being a wife that was something they called for before the foundations of the word before they say ba 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 God has destined them Bible says before I formed you in the womb I knew you the church cannot silence the voice of 
for the woman uh, whom God foreknew her, uh, whom God predestined her. Uh, am I talking to you in this place? Uh, it's time to rise up uh, and release your sound. Uh, they told you to shut up in the church uh, and they said you are good for nothing. Uh, they told you to shut up in the church uh, and they said you cannot prophesy. Uh, they told you to shut up in the church uh, and said the woman is meant to keep silent in the church uh, but nothing is working in the church. Uh, but God said I'm raising forth women uh, who are glory carriers. Uh, this one will release a sound uh, and they shall not stutter. Uh, I'm raising forth radical women uh, who will look at me and say indeed uh, I am called for such a time as this. Uh, I'm raising women in the scripture said the Bible that are like Sarah uh, who will laugh and say God this is your season uh, of divine laughter. I'm raising forth the next generation uh, who will not bow uh, their death with the mothers uh, and their death with the grandmothers. Uh, and mothers could not preach uh, in an evangelical church. Uh, why? Uh, because there was a conservative theology that says they cannot preach uh, but God is breaking her. Uh, every system uh, that mocks with the voice of the prophetess. Uh, God is breaking her. Uh, the systems uh, that said she cannot prophesy. Uh, I've come to release impartation tonight. Uh, and I've come to release grace tonight. Uh, as we hear my voice, uh, there will be something. Uh, wherever you are listening right now, uh, lift up your right hand uh, and say after me, Oh God, uh, I receive impartation. Uh, say one more time, Oh God, uh, I receive impartation. God is shaking something. Uh, God is moving something. Uh, I'm speaking to the women. Uh, there was something in you uh, that is beyond the womb. Uh, there was something in you uh, that is beyond your body. There was something in you that is beyond your figure. Do you understand? God has called you a fire starter. The church has reduced you, but God said it is a revival of the revivalists and the revival of those called to release the sound. I'm speaking. There was a mantle that will drop upon you tonight. Lift up your right hand one more time and say, I am ready to receive the mantle. God is raising a next generation woman who will scream from my belly and say, Lord God, I release is my sound. My nation shall be saved. The church shall be saved. England shall be saved. Africa shall be saved. America shall be saved. God is raising the women who will not bow to the systems of the world. And when we find strong women who do not bow, they call them Jezebel. Many of you have been, have been called Jezebel just because you did what the men couldn't do. You've been called Athalia just because you prophesied in the church. When the woman comes with re 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 results and reformer, the church calls that Jezebel. Do you understand? I know your pain and I know your struggle and I know the misery and I know how you've wept how they refuse to receive your voice. When God speaks through you, nobody wants to hear your voice. The church has demonized you and say that you are Jezebel because you're strong in the spirit and they say you are Jezebel because you sound certain way in the spirit. They made you feel like you are a dove but God has called you a lioness. They say that you are a Jezebel they because you lay hands and cast demons or they say oh you are, there is something about you actually they call you tomboys and say well you act like a man because a man has defined church as a man gender thing but God says I'm raising forth women in this place whom the church has ostracized and kicked out and these are the ones that will release my sound again they've called you a witch because you released the word of the Lord and say how come you look a certain way and the men who called you a witch because they are religious people they called you a witch and say you know what you cannot be prophesying in the church they've called you a prostitute and say you dress a certain way even though the man dresses and shows his biceps we don't call them wizards they've demonized you women but I believe God is bringing forth encouragement again and the voice of reformer I speak as God's apostle on this platform tonight that God is reviving again the ministry of the prophetesses. God is reviving again that they should rise up. I'm speaking to the women in this place. It's time to rise up. I'm speaking to you prophet. They say not to prophesy. I said God said to prophesy. The word of the Lord comes and said in the last day I will pour my spirit upon all flesh not upon the men only your sons and your daughters. The last time I checked daughters were used for women. Daughters was a feminine gender. How come the church will silence the genders from prophesying but God says it is the restoration of the woman who will prophesy I'm speaking to the women in this place you've grown cold because the church has stoned you off you've grown stone cold because they said not to prophesy God said tonight there shall be restoration even in this place what am I talking to in this place get ready for restoration it's coming upon the church get ready but this is the season of divine restoration and God said tonight to tell the church if they are willing and they hear my voice they shall be restored I'm doing something new. I'm doing
doing something greater as the Yama word they shall be restored this is the season of restoration tag a woman who the church say cannot preach do you know what this means to me if a woman is good looking they say she's a Jezebel I don't know if you are tired of being called Jezebel just because you are light skinned we got Jezebel, just because you are dark skinned, uh, you are caramel, they call you Jezebel, uh, you are chocolate, they call you Jezebel, uh, just because you are good looking. Uh, now, the women who are beautiful are afraid to prophesy uh, because the church calls her Jezebel. Uh, the church has become less powerful. Uh, we identify Jezebel because they are beautiful. Uh, but God says to tell you, uh, I'm going to use you and your beauty, uh, I'm going to use you and your charm, uh, I'm going to use you and your figure. Uh, I'm tired of this man uh, who ostracized you. Uh, and God said tonight, uh, if you know, you hear my voice uh, and so. Something is boiling in your belly. It's time to sing and shout and release a sound because there is something going on in the spirit. God is releasing mantle tonight. Do you know what this means? It means that there's a, a, a there's a clock. There is a garment that will be released upon it tonight. God is raising the woman in this place who will scream from her belly. I will not bow to the systems of the water. I'm speaking to you that has been called Jezebel. Hello, sister Jezebel. It's time to prophesy. Yes, they called you a witch. Hello, witch. It's time to prophesy. They say that you're good for nothing. Hello, good for nothing. It's time to prophesy. I don't care what they call you, but prophesy from what they call you. Do you hear me, church? I don't care what they call you, but prophesy from what they call you. If they call you a witch, prophesy from what they call you. I'm speaking to the women who are tired or being tired. This is the season for the breath of God to come upon the church. Arise, oh all women arise all women arise all women this is the season of revelation this is the season of transformation this is the season of revolution this is the season of revelation this is the season of impartation this is the season of relevance God is calling for out the women in this place stop sleeping on the couch and rise up the nation needs your war the nation needs your roar the nation needs your words. It's time to rise up. Where are the women? I'm prophesying. Rise, all women. Rise from this place of burden. Rise from this place of grief. Rise. 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 Right. If you're a woman in this place huh, and you can release the sound of tongues huh, and the sound in tongues, huh, could you just for the next two minutes huh, just release the word in tongues? Huh? There was something the Lord said that many of you, your words have been trapped her huh? it's been trapped in the wind huh? God say you're about to release a word huh? but your word has been trapped in the wind huh? because the church has trapped your word anymore. You cannot even speak in tongues anymore because the church has ostracized you. But God said tonight, son, as you begin to release this word, I will give them the freedom to release the sound. So as I speak in tongues, there will be even a bubbling in your spirit, in your belly. Let's go. Raposhkateya, Ike Zelebekaturia, Mandeka Zuria, Lebeke Zelebekatoria, Ikaton de Lekaturia, Rapakoshkataya, Ikatoria, where are the women? Release your roar! Ike Beke de Lekate, release your roar! Hibakaturu Kataya, release your roar! Where are the women? Release your roar! Where are the sisters? Release your roar! Iakonde Keyando Yekato. You're being called, but you've been silenced. God says tonight, a lot of you, your gifting has been trapped. The men has trapped your gift. Religion has trapped your gift. Legalism has trapped your gift. But God said tonight, it shall be untrapped. Are you hearing me tonight? God said tonight, I'm unveiling something. So I'm removing something. You're about to release a word. Lay your hands on your belly. And Jesus said to the woman, out of your belly, the Bible says, she said to Jesus, your religious views, you said the woman cannot draw water. 
water. They see the church as demonized the woman from drawing water. The Bible says when the disciples saw Jesus speaking to the woman, they began to get offended. It's amazing how the church gets offended when Jesus speaks to the woman. The Bible says, and the disciples went away and Jesus was having a full-blown conversation with the woman. Jesus and the woman were having a rapport. And the Bible says when the disciples saw Jesus, they were offended. Why? Because they don't want Jesus speaking to a woman. That is religion in the church. The church don't want Jesus speaking to a woman. But Jesus will speak to whom he created. You did not create me, church. You did not create me, oh bishop. Jesus will speak with me tonight. Are you hearing me, church? The Bible says, and the men were having conversations in the room. But the woman came and busted a bust oil and began to wipe Jesus' foot. And the priest and the Bible says, and one of the men says, Lord, rebuke this woman. The church was busy doing their thing. But one woman brought a fragrance. I'm speaking to women in this place. Your gifting has been trapped in the alabaster box. And they say you cannot release your scent. You cannot release your fragrance. Our Lord, the men we are gathered in the sunny Mediterranean region. And I can imagine the stench in the room. I can imagine the men sweating with Jesus in the room. And they could not provide a scent. I can imagine the stench in the room. But it took a woman who came with a box. But the box was cocked up. She could not break the box. Why? Because religion tells her to keep a scent to herself. She couldn't break the box. Why? Because they, they told her to shut up. They said, don't speak when we are here. But the Bible says on this day, she saw Jesus. And she said to Jesus, sir, I've got a fragrance in my inside but this man won't let me release the sound sir I've got prophecy in my inside but the church will release me allow me release the sound sir I'm called to be an apostle but the church will allow me release the sound sir I've got I've got the word of the Lord in my inside there is an alabaster there's a fragrance in my box my box is my it's my belly do you understand her and she looked at Jesus and said sir this place is stuffy it's a hot afternoon but I've got something that can change the scent and bring forth a nice fragrance and everyone told her to shut up but this one brought the box and said sir this scent is inside this fragrance is inside but it is cocked up religion has cocked up my box legalism has cocked up my box this people has cocked up my box this bishop has cocked up my box sir if you allow me and I crack this box I will release a fragrance and Jesus looked at the woman and said my daughter, it's about time that will change the perfume. It's about time that will change the smell in this room. It's hot here. And Peter, James, and John I just come from fishing. They smell like fish. I can't stand this man. The room is all stuffy. A woman, if you can bring something that will change this thing. And she will look at herself and say, Sir, give me permission to knock this box. This box of religion. And she just said to the woman, you better knock that box out. The Bible says, and she broke the box and a fragrance came from the box. Tonight I've come to break religion that has trapped your center. Are you hearing me church? I've come to break religion that has trapped your center and tonight get ready for the new fragrance. God said tonight you women in this place get ready to release your fragrance. Get ready to release your fragrance. The men have been screaming and shouting, but they cannot provide smell or produce smell. We have been shouting for years and shouting for centuries, but we are not able to produce scent. But I believe there's one woman who came to Jesus and said, Sir, I've got what you want. There is something I have that they don't have. I've got a fragrance. I'm speaking to women who will release their fragrance tonight because the church is all smelly. We are running smelly denominations and smelly economical systems. The the church is all smelly. The apostles stink. They stink of religion. They stink of the legalism. The bishops stink. They say you cannot preach. That's what they stink. But tonight God is raising her. The woman who was called a bee. Do you know what a bee is? A bee will sting you but bring forth honey. And the name Deborah means a bee. God is raising Deborahs in this place. Deborah means a bee. I'm tired of being the ones you hit every time. You see we are tired. We are coming back in full force. 
My name is Deborah. I am a beer. I will sting you but bring forth on here. Are you hearing me, church? We are tired of being broken. I am a beer. I'm bringing forth on here. God is raising for Deborah in this place that will sting but bring forth on here. Are you hearing me, church? That will sting and bring forth on here. Shall we sting religion one moment? Can we sting religion one second? The apostle will say, You can't preach. Let's sting him one more minute. Let's tell him I've got some honey. Do you understand in my honeycomb? Tonight is the night of reform. Say yes, Lord, reform. My name is Deborah and I sting. Why you men stink? I stink. You do not hear me. The men were in the room stinking, but Deborah stung. <laughs> ah. I am not a man, I do not stink. I'm a woman, I stink. My name is Deborah, I stink, and I bring forth honey. It's about time to stink that religion. It's about time to stink that legalism and stink that bishop. I'm speaking to women who are bees. Deborah, it's time to stink those men and take them out of the place because they've been preaching heresy a long time. You have something that we want. Two things about Deborah, but because I will be, she stones, she stinks, and she brings forth honey. Church, we need your honey. We need you back to bring back honey back again. Bible says the land that I shall give you shall flow with milk and honey. We need your honey. The men haven't been able to bring forth honey and the church is sick because the men cannot bring forth honey. But tonight God is releasing the women. If you are a woman in this place, you need to understand that tonight you're about to sting the thing that stung you. Do you hear me church? You're about to sting the thing that stung you. You've been stung for years and your voice has been muzzled from time. But Tonight is the night. Tonight <coughs> is the night of reform. I'm going to preach a few verses and I'm done. Is this blessed you already? I want to impart it tonight. He man de azuri pa honda. He le beka duri inandi kazuria. Le ba kosh ki ipa arunte barunta. Le beka tanzi ki ya tos ki ananda. E bra kosh ki yarabandu iya pres kata. He le beka teska andi ya pori ataya. He le beka toska iprantili ataya. Le kuria nanzi ki adosa. I'm raising women in this season who will not bow to the systems of the world. I'm raising women in this season. You better tell them my name is not Delilah. My name. Name is Deborah. One more time, my name is not Delilah. My name is Deborah. I'm not come to seduce men. I'm come to raise men and sanctify men. My name is not Delilah. My name is Deborah. The problem with the church, they've demonized all women and call them Delilahs. But tell the devil tonight and tell the men tonight, my name is not Delilah. My name is Deborah. I sting and I have honey. I sting and I give you some. Uh, honey, <laughs> I sting and I give you some honey. <coughs> Do you hear me, church? We need you. We need you. We need you. There was a man too that we raised on the way. After preaching this word tonight, and I see you still afraid. Do you know how it hurts me? I was speaking to someone who is a mentee of mine yesterday, and I was saying to my mentee, I said, I love you so much that I want you to walk in your purpose. And she said to me, Apostle, I know I have a word, but I'm just a bit shy. And I was saying, Give me a date. I need you to give me a date. Why? I believe that you are called her. And you are hearing my voice. I believe you are called her. I'm reminding you again. Your voice is needed for your nation. I'm reminding you again. You've been then for such a time as this I'm reminding you again the church needs your voice it's time to rise up I am not afraid I am not afraid it's time to rise up it's time rise up rise up from where you've been broken rise up from where you've been beaten rise up from where you've been bruised rise up it's time to rise up again no more shall you be called the sleeping mother but you shall be called the roaring prophetess and the roaring warrior rise up oh women of god this is your time of revelation rise up oh women of god it's a long time you've been in that posture tonight is the time to rise up if you have your bibles quickly i'll be done quickly there is a power of impartation even Lord God tonight, as I begin to release your word, Lord, now just flow, 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 just flow. 
Lord, flow through these women. Lord, just flow through these ones tonight. There is a spirit of impartation that is upon these ones. Lord, just flow. Just flow upon these ones tonight, oh God. Just raise, oh God, again, the mantle upon these ones. Your daughters will prophesy. Your daughters shall prophesy. Lord, release, oh God, the spirit of impartation that they might prophesy. Lord, tonight, many of you in this place, you will feel a bubbling in your belly already. Your mouth will begin to release a sound. I see some of you releasing a sound of tongue. There is a mantle of the woman. It's coming upon you. Where are the women called to war? Intercessors arise. Intercessors arise. May I talk about the intercession for one minute? I am tired of every woman being an intercessor. I'm not an apostle. Do you understand what I'm saying? The church has given you the most intercessor. And because we don't want to be an apostle, let's just call her an intercessor. They don't want to call you a prophet. They just call it intercessor. They are bribing you. Stop releasing your so stop 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 stop, stop being a bait. Stop stop receiving this as a bait. You see, most of you, intercession is a bait to shush your vo your voice. <clears throat> listen, listen, listen. The Lord is saying to tell you right now, many of you, your church leaders has made you intercessors just because they are afraid of calling you an apostle. Women arise! My voice is God, but women arise. I've been screaming all week, my voice is God, but women arise. The church is afraid of calling you a prophet. They call you an apostle. They call you an intercessor. Do you know what that means? Intercession has become a bait. Many of you are not functioning in your office. No, he has called you a prophet. He has called you an apostle. And your pastors has made you intercessors. That is the best they can give you. Many of you are excited to be intercessors and not working as apostles and not working as prophets. But tonight, God is breaking the barrier and this arise that have been called Oscar Gabadia have been called to raise forth women apostles and women prophets and women evangelists and women pastors and women teachers not just intercessors thank you intercession but I'm called to be an officer of a prophet thank you intercession I'm called to be an apostle thank you intercession I'm called to be one of the fivefold the church has silenced the voice of a woman and made them into made them intercessors and they said to the woman, oh, you're an intercessor. That, 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 that's all you need. That, that's all that you need in your space. But God said, no, daughter, you're not walking in your full call. There was something beyond where you are. I've called you to walk in that office. Many of you in this place, God has called you what you are. But your pastor calls you what he wants. But tonight, God is saying, arise all sleeping ones. The word of the Lord to you women. This is the generation where they shall hear my voice. For I shall speak to one and many shall hear. For I shall raise up even amongst them a woman who will understand my heart for the nations of the world and they shall begin to release my sound and they shall not bow for these ones shall be called my beloved because they have been strangled a long time arise all sleeping warriors for this is the season of great reform you shall know because my hand is upon you no longer will she shall be called Atalia and Jezebel for my hand rests upon you for you've been muzzled and you've been silenced but great comes even in the time there shall be great awakening and you shall know indeed that I've selected you as my remnant behold do you not see great wonders upon the earth for I've raised up a nation and a generation who will release my sound and they will not bow to the legalistic system that operates in my body in the church but I will arise and I will silence the accusers even in this time and they shall know indeed that I have spoken through my many words and you shall know for I shall raise up even men who will stand by the walls and they shall fortify your gates and then you shall know that I the Lord am moving mightily among the voices of many for you shall know in this time because your voice shall be esteemed no longer shall you be muzzled and quieted but this time shall be for you the time of great power arise or sleep in once for this is the generation of those who will seek my face and they will not fall arise or sleep in once arise and lift up your shofar and blow for the sound for I come and quickly see the Lord but I will allow you women to raise even the sound and make me come into the fold for there shall be even the end not far from now but you are my voice an instrument of evangelism you shall raise men and bring them to the fold Arise, O sleeping daughters. I'm raising for the women who are tired of being put to silence. This is the season and generation of the hungry. Arise, O sleeping women. The church will understand for a new thing is being birthed on the earth. And these are the custodians of great power in great times. This is the word of the Lord for the church. It's not rehearsed. This word is not rehearsed. 
it is the word of the Lord for the church and I speak as God's apostle for this season that everyone in this place that hear my voice the Lord indeed is moving you to the next season of glory and power I lay as I lay my hands on my belly everyone in this place I've not even preached my word lay your hands on your belly and let me prophesy a stirring lay your hands on your belly I want to prophesy a stirring tonight if you are a woman in this place lay the hands on your belly tonight God said there shall be a bubbling there is a be grace that will rain upon you in this place if you are a woman here lay your hands on your belly something is happening in the spirit it will flow Lord flow through their hands right now as your hands are laid on your belly as your spirit came upon them there shall be even an outpour God said tonight get ready there is an outpour there is an outpour there is an outpour hey Zakur Ipe Kasaria there is an outpour get ready tonight there is an outpour it's coming upon you lay your hands on your belly I can see a woman bubble up in tongues yeah you can't stop it you can't that's if that is you say that is me you can't stop it I see the tongues just bubbling there is something happening in the spirit if that is you say that is me your hands on your belly you cannot hold it no more I see a woman going all the way to Cape Town they muzzled your voice and say you cannot preach you should keep Lord move through this live stream Lord move through this power stream Lord God move Lord, this is passion weaker. Something is losing in the spirit. This is passion weaker. Something is moving in the spirit. My spirit shall come upon all flesh. Even in the passion weaker. Release your bubble. Release your bubbling. Release your bubbling. Release your bubbling tonight 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 I'm speaking to you women in this place you are better than what they call you I know you are called a woman to bring forth children but there is something beyond procreation it is called the ministry of the call to ministry God has called you not just to be a physical mother it's called you to be spiritual mothers to many where are the women that have been trapped in religion and they say that you cannot preach I whip for the church because the Lord is raising the women I whip for the church because the Lord is raising for women who will not bow Lord God release grace upon the women Lord God release grace upon the women Lord God release grace upon the women arise all women arise all women arise all women if I don't preach today and I do only this I'm good I've come to stir you up church we are tired of second guessing we don't know what's gonna happen and many of you have been prophesying in secret you've been prophesying on pages and on groups the church don't want to hear your voice that's why no one has received your counsel when coronavirus happened many of you saw it but the reason why we didn't take heed because the church silenced your voice a lot of things are happening in the spirit and the church keeps silencing the silencing the voice of the women but women are right this is the generation of those who hear the voice of God arise oh sleeping generation arise oh sleeping women I'm speaking to you woman that the church say you cannot prophesy may I speak the word of the Lord to you the Bible calls our prophetess and the last time I checked prophetess is prophesy they say you cannot preach the word of the Lord the last time I checked the word preach means to release a sound I've come to announce tonight something is brewing where are the women it's time to rise up I speak as God's apostle I'm losing my voice for the women I'm compromising my voice for the women my voice is gone for the women because the women must rise up I have lost my voice but one thing I know to do I know how to call the women rise up from your sleeping places rise up from your broken places rise up from your pain rise up from your misery we are tired of calling you Jezebels we are tired of calling you Athalias we are tired of calling you tomboys 
the church when they don't understand the power with which you flow from they call you a witch you are not a Jezebel no you are not a tomboy no you're not a Thalia no you're not a witch you are God's mouthpiece you are God's mouthpiece arise oh professor arise oh professor arise oh professor I release the sound of the Lord tonight that this one shall begin to receive a bubbling let it flow where are the women arise I can lose my voice but I won't lose my impartation arise I might lose my voice but I will not lose my impartation arise where are the women it's time to release your sound and arise the time is now Jackie, I wish I could go on, but let me just read a few scriptures and I'll out of your way tonight. It's a scripture you know already. I'm going to release this word of the Lord tonight. I will release this word. The night, a man de Kazuria Beke de la Mande le Begataria, La Prakata Bracotea, Zicadon de Cado de Cado, Le Mande Kazuria Mandilicataya, Le Bracusca de Lebracusca, Le Bracusca de Lebracusta, Le Bamaman de Lebecatoya, Elamanda Lebecatoria, Le Bacuria, Le Mande Lebecatans, La Bagadalicatoria, La Cushcata. If you have your Bibles, quickly the book of Luke, chapter number one. The book of Luke chapter number one, I'm going to spend much more of your time. I want to pray a prayer of invitation and I will release you tonight. Um, many men do not like me. You see, one of the things about Oscar Gobadia, they like when I teach theologically, but they don't like when I teach about the woman. Because my theology, my conservative theological view tells me the woman shouldn't preach. But the power of the risen Christ and his word says that she has a word. Tonight there will be something that will shift you and that will change you tonight. I've come to, at least I've lost my voice, it's gone already. But tonight something will break out in the spirit because I've called a war with the woman. Bible says in chapter number one of the book of Luke, verse number 57, a couple of scriptures. You remember the Bible says that Anna was, sorry, Elizabeth was barren. The word Elizabeth is the word an oath. An oath, O A T H, an oath. Elizabeth means an oath tonight for many of you in this place. Huh? Listen, many of you have desecrated the oath. You have condescended because God has called you to be a prophet. You took an oath in the spirit, but what happened to you because of religion and legalism, you have breached the contract and covenant. Huh? Elizabeth, the oath that you breached is about to be revived again tonight. Do you understand the name Elizabeth means an oath? And many of you, when you got born again, you took an an oath and the oath was to do the will of the of him who called you but how many of you have really taken the oath into action you have desecrated the oath it is sacrilegious it is a sacrilege why because you took an oath to serve the things of the kingdom you took an oath to serve the things of the kingdom but all of a sudden where is the oath the church has silenced the oath you are guilty of being muzzled you are guilty of being kicked aside you are guilty of being of being rejected god is raising the women that have abided that have stayed they are bought by the oath this is the season of release chapter number one of the book of hebrews i read verse, verse number 57 the bible says now elizabeth full time came let me end for a while let me read it actually elizabeth full time came and she to be delivered now Elizabeth, the word full in the Greek is called teleos, which means the time that was appointed. Elizabeth's full time came. Tonight is your full time. Not just your full time, but your full term. Because you're about to push for the baby that is inside of you. The baby that you've carried in your inside. The baby that testified of Jesus in the womb. There is someone in this place carrying a John. Your John is your annuncia. John was called to be the announcer of Jesus' ministry. Do you know what that means, sir? 
God has called you to announce something for the kingdom. I'm speaking to Elizabeth in this place today. Your full time has come and there is a John in your inside that is called the Annuncia. It's called the voice of one. God is raising forth the Elizabeth in this place because your full time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, no longer would you be called a, a, a parenthesis or called a comma. God is saying your full time has come. I'm speaking to women in this place that know that this is your full time. Today is your full time. I'm speaking to women in this place. The, 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 the 30th of, of, of March 2021, God is saying to tell the women, if you know that your full time has come, say my full time has come. I'm speaking to 73 women. If you know your full time has come, say my full time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tired of playing part time. No longer would you do part time. I am tired of part-time Christians. Part-time Christians, let me tell you part-time Christians. Part-time Christians are those who go to church but don't have ministry. They are part-time Christians. Let me say one more time again. Part-time Christians are those who go to church but have no ministry. Those who go to church, they pray but cannot even release the sound. Part-time ministry are those who have the love of the Lord in your heart, uh, but I've been silenced. Uh, the church has made you part time, Elizabeth. Uh, the church has made you part time, mothers. Uh, but the Bible says, uh, when the full time came, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's time to leave the part time uh, and enter into your full time. Uh, it's time to leave the part time uh, and enter into your fullness. Uh, I am tired uh, of speaking to women uh, with a part time mentality. I'm tired uh, of speaking to women uh, with a part time man mantula. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, no longer would you walk on a part-time mantle. I'm speaking to women who are tired of the part-time vision, part-time anointing, part-time mantle, part-time prophet. You are prophet on such or certain Facebook posts, but on that post, you are just a sister. Part-time, part-time, part-time. But God said tonight, there's a shift from the part-time to the full-time. Most of you are part-time apostles, part-time prophets, part-time evangelists part-time pastors and teachers but God said no longer your full time has come your full time has come do you hear me church your full time has come tonight I'm speaking to those who are ready and to those who are hungry your full time has come we are tired of part-time preaching your pastor only calls you apostle or prophet when they like her is part-time God is raising those with a full-time call no longer would you be a part-time prophet or a part-time apostle but God is raising a full-time revolutionaries a full-time transformers, a full-time pace setters, a full-time apostles and prophets. Lord, raise full-time men of God. We are tired of being of having part-time prophets. Raise, raise, raise up, Lord. These ones, they have broken even the seal and the deal. They have reduced their call. Lord, you've called and the Bible says, I can imagine she carries something in her inside. But the Bible says it was about time. The Bible says that when Elizabeth's full time came to be delivered, there is something that's about to come out of your inside tonight. A lot of you in this place, you've been pregnant too long. You've carried your assignment too long. Do you know what it means? You've been called an apostle in the spirit, but not in the physical. God said tonight, you're about to push out your call. You're about to push out your ministry. You're about to push out your assignment. You're about to push out your purpose. God said to tell the women in this place you have been pregnant with your call a long time. But tonight is a night of pushing out. Are you here to be church? It's time to push out your call. You'll be pregnant. This is your third trimester and this is your full time and full term. It's time to push out your ministry. You'll be pregnant as a prophet too long. It's time to push out your office. It's time to push out your purpose. I'm speaking to those that are being pregnant it's time to push out if you know in this place there was something beyond what you know there was something beyond what the church can see it's time to push may I be your midwife tonight may I be the woman, the man of God in the theater with you tonight ladies and gentlemen can I be the man who is your, they call them the gynecologist but may I be your midwife tonight because I want to push something out of your inside all the women in this place it's about time to release the baby you've dropped the baby 
too long. The women in this place, it's about time. May I be your midwife tonight. May I help you to release this baby. I'm speaking as God's apostle tonight. May I help you release this baby. You've carried this thing too long. You've been there struggling all part time. You've carried this baby too long. You've been struggling all your life. May I be your midwife tonight that will put out the call from your womb. May I be the midwife tonight that will put out your assignment from your womb. May I be your midwife tonight that will put out your purpose from your womb. Brothers and sisters, tonight I see me in the spirit releasing men, women in this place. There was something in your assignment. The world needs you. The church needs you. I need you. May I be your midwife tonight to release something that has been trapped. May I be your midwife to release the sound. Arise, oh woman of God. Ekunda hebakosh kelebandi lontoki yabako siplikata yande ke zuru ke baku ke dandi azuta. E luski bakunde ya bashke bakuskita. Ye lebe ko suya mandika lekatoya. Hera konda koba komba koba konda. Lebeketeska andilikatoski yarabakonda. He ye bekoshka katare kataya. Le pakoshki abakonte lebekatoya. He ye boku lembekete kede begeteya. Rakosa kasa kataya bakataya. Ike zike zako yamanda. He lebekete suya manamalikataya. Rapaka. Baka bakataya, he ye bako zuki and a mantia, he lebeke deleke deseke delekatea, he rapako baraka honta, he can ruski bahash kataya, he ke ziki and a mantia dasa, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, man, Dark Azia. Yes, Lord. The women are ready, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. The women are ready, Jesus. Yes, Lord. The women are ready, Jesus. Yes, Lord. The women are ready, Jesus. Yes, Lord. They are ready. They are ready, Jesus. They are ready, Jesus. They're about to push out. This is the time. Yes, Lord. They are ready. Yes, Lord. They are ready. It's time to birth that purpose. It's time to birth that ministry. It's time to birth the call. They are ready, Jesus. They are ready, Jesus. The Bible says, I promise you, I'm not going to stay too long here. I promise you tonight, I'm not going to stay too long. I'm ending soon. The Bible says, when our neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy on her, they rejoiced without God. is showing great mercy on the women tonight. God is showing great mercy on the women tonight. Lord, release your, your mercy upon the women tonight. Lord, I stand even as your apostle tonight to release this word. Lord God, show forth your mercy. Even tonight, even tonight, God, show forth your mercy. The Bible says their neighbors, those who said that she couldn't release a sound, those who said that she couldn't even push forth before, back in the day, the neighbors called her barren and said that she has no word in her womb. Back in the day, they said she was barren, but she couldn't bring forth a child. But the Bible says when her time was come and the full time came, the Bible said that she was about to put forth a child, that the neighbors rejoiced with her. Do you know what this means? It means that your rising will cause rejoicing in the kingdom. There will be celebration because of your rising. Brothers and sisters, hear my voice if you're a man in this place. There's going to be a sound of joy that will be in the camp of the saints because the women will rise up tonight. When you bring forth this thing, there shall be a rising tonight. Arise, oh woman, and rise up from your sleeping places. Arise, oh woman, and rise up from your misery. Arise, oh sleeping woman. The church is about to celebrate your rising now arise and shine for the light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you arise the church celebrates passion week because the woman arises arises all oh prophetess arise all oh apostle the bible says in verse number 59 i will end soon i promise you so yummy she had done something she has never done before bring out something that she has been denied. The Bible says in verse 59, catch this. Remember she had a husband called Zechariah. The Bible says, so it was. On the eighth day, he was born already. Hear me? Now this will, this, will, this will change your views. On the eighth day, that they came to circumcise the child. Remember, she's given birth to John. On the eighth day, according to the laws of the Jews, they had come to circumcise the boy, the child. Catch what happened. Catch what happened. 
And they would have called him by the name of his father, Zechariah. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. This is the same repetition the church has been engaged in. They were going to call the child the name of the father. Do you know what the church has done? Because the church do not understand the seed that you pushed out. They've given it a religious title. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me one more time. They were going to call the child, hear me, your church, the name of the father. Women, I hear your pain. Church, can we stop ascribing the name of the things of the men to the women? The church was going to give the child the name that existed before. No, this woman has just brought something that never existed before. The church has a way of coining the revivals that was birthed by the women. Hear me? The church, the people, we are going to call him the name of the father. The church has a way of naming the encounters that the women birthed. Likoski yada, but we are tired. I'm tired of men taking the glory for the woman's push. I'm tired of the church taking the glory. They say that you cannot preach. They call you barren in the word. They call you barren in ministry. They call you barren in the prophetic. But do you know that what the church does? The church has a way of naming the encounters that the women birthed. All the women in history that has made encounters, they don't honor them as preachers, but they take the glory for the church. The church has the way of naming and claiming the babies that was pushed by Elizabeth. One more time. The church has a way of naming and claiming this baby pushed by Elizabeth. Many years ago you cursed her and said she was good for nothing and said that she cannot prophesy but because she's brought forth a child you call her a name. Stop naming your babies. Church, can we stop naming the babies of this woman? They have the right to name them by themselves. The Bible says and they said to one another, let us claim just call this child something that existed before. That baby was born for the first time. Huh? Stop giving them the names of the fathers. Huh? Stop giving them the names of the fathers. Huh? You know the problem with the church? Huh? We've given the names of our miracles that was birthed by the mothers to the fathers. Huh? And we said the fathers were responsible for the miracles. No. Do you know what this, what this hurts me? Many miracles that was birthed in the Bible and was birthed even in the early church time huh? were birthed through women. Huh? But the early fathers took the, the, took the, the, the break, the, the took the, the victory, the what's it called? They, they took the credit for it. They took the credit for it. Women are birthing revival, men are naming it. Women are birthing revivals, men are naming and claiming it. They couldn't birth, and they said she should, she should keep quiet. But when the woman birth revival, the men claim it. The Bible says, Bible says, 59 on the eighth day they came together. And they was going to call him the name of the father. But you know what? There was a name that was predestined. The Bible says his mother answered and said what? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are the women who will say no? Don't call us Jezebel no more. No. Don't call us Athalia no more. No. Don't call us prostitutes no more. No. I'm talking about the no women. The no nonsense women. The no women. We are tired of the yes -ers. Too many yes -ers. You've done yes all your life. Yet they say not to preach. Ah, oh, God help you preach this word. You've been saying yes sir, all your life. But tonight God is raising her on no nonsense apostles or no sir woman. Are you hearing me church? God is raising the woman who will say no back in the Jewish time, back in the Jewish dispensation, a woman, ha a woman has no right to talk. Back in the Jewish times, a woman has no right to talk. But she said, enough is enough. She said, I am tired. She said, enough is enough. I am tired of all this mess. Enough is enough. I've been muzzled too long. I've done too much yes sirs for you. I've done too much yes sirs. Yes, you don't give me the microphone to preach. I've done yes sirs. Yes, you go behind my back and castigate my name. On this stage, you are tired of being used and abused. Church, aren't you tired of being used and abused? Many of you are tired of the yes sirs. You 
say yes as to the man who will not give you the microphone to release the word but on this day this woman of God say I am tired of religion still in my breakthrough you are still in my babies you are still in my babies you are still in my babies and she said to all the people there no I'm speaking to someone in this place next time they tell you not to prophesy say no they tell you next time not to preach say no the Bible says and she said to them no 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 I'm helping you church in this place as I begin to wrap up I'm speaking to the women say no when they say you cannot prophesy say no when they say you cannot speak in tongues say no when they say you're not an apostle say no I've come to raise a no nonsense women those who will not bow to bow you've said yes sir too long it's time to say no the Bible said she said no guess what she said no he shall be called John John but see what will happen she gave it a name that was alien to them he shall be called John so what they say but they say to her no one among your relatives is called by this name God is going to make you birth something that the church cannot claim intelligent, intelligent property on. It will be paid for a product. Let me say one more time. God is raising for women that the men will no longer steal your intelligent properties. God will patent your seed before it is born. Oh Lord, help me tonight. God will patent your seed before you push it forth so that when the baby comes, no man can name it. The Bible says she bought for something that was new called John. Uh, there was a new thing coming upon you tonight. And it is something the Bible said that they said to themselves, there is no one among you. I'm going to end here. There is no one among you your relative who is called John. Who is this John? This is alien to us. God is releasing something to the woman that is different and alien to the church. The church will try to investigate, but they don't have an answer for it. The Bible says, and they made signs to her husband. And it was the Bible said, and he called his name John. Hold on one moment. The Bible said, he called his name. Mind you, at this moment, his tongue was tied. Bible says, but they said to her, so they made the signs to his father, what he would call him. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. He wrote it, saying, He wrote it. But the Bible said, So the marveled, immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue was loose. Can I say something? This is where the men will hate me tonight. The mouth of a priest was tied. But the key to his release was in the was in the mouth of a woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The mouth of the tongue of a priest. <coughs> when you hear the word priest, it's connected to the nation of Israel. The tongue of the priest is like the bishops, the, 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 the clergy or the clerics. The tongue of the priest was tied, and the released was dependent. You know I mean on the no. Of the woman the church's tongue has been tied there is no part to release the sound any longer there is no sound because the tongue of the church has been tied up the church the tongue of the church has been tied up and the only way this release will come upon the church is if she acknowledges again the woman the man of God could not release a sound until the woman said it's time to release a sound. I believe God is raising forth women with the key to unveil the mystery that is in the tongue of the saint. And tonight God said to announce to the church, I am raising forth the woman. Because until the woman releases a sound, there will not be a loosening of the tongue. One more time. Until she releases a sound, there will not be a loosening of the tongue.
tongue. I believe there is something that has been tied in the church. There is something about the church that has been tied. But it takes the revelation of a woman to unveil this loosening, ladies and gentlemen, until there is a release of the woman to say, oh no, there will not be even an unloosening of the tongue. I've come to announce today there is a key and a mantle that will drop upon the woman because your release of a sound will cause a loosening in the kingdom. One more time. The release of a sound will cause a loosening in the kingdom. One more time again. God says to tell it tonight, women, the release of your sound will cause a loosening in the kingdom. I believe something is going on in the spirit. There are, there are things tied up in the spirit because the women have been ostracized from releasing a sound. But tonight, something will loose up in the spirit because the sound of the woman shall be released. God said, woman, release your sound for a loosening in the kingdom. Release your sound for a loosening in the spirit. So tonight, I want to end with this. God said there's going to be impartation tonight. Promise you, I'm done in two minutes. And I want to impart all the women in this place, even in the churches. I wish the women knew how to scream. I love the Brook Place because our women shout. I give them, I give them the room to scream. Our women can break down the roof. I'm raising screaming daughters. My daughter's tongues are not losing. They're not tied. That's why I'm doing a live on my daughter's page. I'm not a pastor who gets intimidated and says no to my daughters. I encourage them. I share their stuff. I put them on my shoulders. I tell them to scream forth. I am their father and my responsibility is to make my daughter scream. I give them the platform. Release your sound in worship. Release your sound in warfare. I'm tired of pastors who muzzle the voices of their daughters. I'm tired of pastors who muzzle the voices of men and women. I'm releasing women in this place. The Brook Place are full of women who know how to scream and shout and jump because my house shall be called a house of prayer, not a place of death and dumb. Are you hearing me, church? So I want to release a sound tonight. And every woman that hears my voice, this is the time to release your sound. Every woman in this place connected to the Brook Place, I, as your apostle, give you the leeway to release your tongue and scream and shout. Tonight is the night to shout. Well done to you, pastors, who make your daughter scream. Well done to you, apostles, who make your daughter shout. But I've been called to such a time as this to release her. Even daughters huh? who will scream, who will scream tonight, all the women in this place. I'm going to pray a prayer of impartation. I will pass it over. When our full time has come, remember, it's, 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 Elizabeth means an oath. The oath means that you enter into covenant with the Lord in regeneration, salvation. Now that you are saved, how come you're not walking in the call? Walk according to the calling with which you have been called. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 4. But every woman in this place, I want you to know this. That there is a mantle that will drop on you tonight. And the mantle will literally cause a loosening in the kingdom. Hear me one more time. God will release something from your insight. <coughs> you are about to birth something from your inside that will cause a loosening in the kingdom. So every woman in this place, lift up your hand and put your, your right hand up, your left hand on your belly. I know you're using the phone. If you can, all I need you to so hear my voice. Lift up your right hand and your left hand in your belly. Tonight, I want to release something. Tonight, I want to be your midwife. I'm going to release something you are due. This is the third trimester. Your John the Baptist is ready. You're about to bring forth what an announcer. John the Baptist was the one who announced that. God is releasing something from your inside that will announce the kingdom. Are you hearing me, church? Lord, I bring this one before you, Father, tonight. And I pray, oh God, that you just move through this one, oh God, tonight. If you know you are called to ministry in this place, you know the Lord has called you for ministry, and you feel like God, there is something in your inside that you don't understand because your pastor did not allow you tonight. I want to pray a prayer of impartation. Everyone who was called for ministry in this place tonight, whether in music, whether in prophetic, whether in the apostolic, whatever ministry, whether a pastor, whatever it is, you know that you are called for ministry tonight. There will be a relief because God said that your John the Baptist is due. So tonight there will be a push because there's going to be a release in the kingdom. There will be a release and a loosening in the kingdom. Lord, I thank you, Father, for these ones tonight. I know that you've called these ones, oh God, that they will be the voices of reform and revolution. Lord, I bring my daughters and 
and these daughters before you, Father. May the grace that run from my head, oh God, run upon them tonight, uh, that they will walk in a, 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 a next dimension level of grace. The Lord says exponential. I'm asking God for double, but God says exponential grace will rest upon these ones today. God said, I'm raising those, oh God, that will be as bold as you, son. I didn't put this word up. That says, son, I'm raising those that will be as bold as you. That will be the spirit of boldness to say no to the systems that try to confront you from releasing a sound. The grace and the boldness of the no. The Lord says tonight that I will release women in this place that will roar like you. I believe God is raising lionesses in this place. God is raising the women that know how to scream. This is the night of release. God said tonight, get ready and get postured. There will be a fresh impartation that will come from my mouth. Suke parantilia. Lepeketes kalikatoria Barunte paranta Lepa kosh kilabakatalia Zina manduki yana mantika Leka zuria palekatoski Zikatan de lepakatoria Le mantika zilepakataria The spirit of boldness The spirit of might The spirit of the fear of the Lord The spirit of counsel The spirit of wisdom Leka randi kazi yananti Lepekete zalakari kataya Le manduria pokarianta Leketos galikataria Zaluka Katapalikataya, Ramante Kalikataya, Zukon de Likaturia, Le Baranta Le Baranta, Le Maranti Le Baranti, Ikea Rukataya, Le Kazuka, yes, Lord, a fresh baptism, see the Lord. I will pour upon them even now, a fresh baptism, see the Lord. And these ones are released a sound. My daughters shall prophesy. Do they not know that indeed there shall be a fresh fragrance that will come from their inside? Arise, O sleeping ones, but this is the new impartation that will rest upon your shoulders and then you will know that indeed your voice is the voice of reform arise your sleeping ones yes lord i call them out in the spirit of the living god yes lord reign your spirit of impartation i bless them father i bless them father and i release oh god your spirit just as the spirit came upon moses to 70 elders may what i carry be even made exponential over you tonight. Suryanandi, Pelepa Kuria, Kunembi Hata, Kulebekaturia, Zinamandi Yadaka, Zilebekaturia. Leah, Jackie, Jackie, you're listening to me? I want to do something funny. I know you are the one there. I'm sorry, I don't know if you're probably going to get slain in the spirit already because you're the one that organized this. I'm going to start with you, Jackie, as your hands are lifted up. Lay your hand on your belly, Jackie. Since you are there, Lift up your hands. I'm going to use you as point of contact. It is your event. It is your conference. It is your program. So lay your hands on your belly. I'm going to just release the fresh impartation on you. And you feel God move. He might even knock you out in the spirit. But be sensitive to the move of the Lord. Keba sude be kezite landia. Lakosh kilaba nde kirianonda. Jackie, le pakosh kiparenta. From the crown of your head right now, I release a fresh unction upon you right now as you hear my word is coming upon you right now may the holy ghost fill your home right now as it came upon the apostles in the upper room right now even in this space right now as your daughter lifts up her hands and lays her hands on her belly Roshuki Abosa is going to come upon you like a wind jackie upon this one a fresh mantula upon you a fresh mantula it will come upon you right now even upon this light take it it's coming upon you right now he should hear you feel like a cold electrifying sensation it's coming upon you yes it's coming upon you upon the crown of your head it's raining upon you come on now receive fresh impartation receive fresh impartation receive fresh impartation yes it's all over you coming out. You can't even handle it no more. It's coming upon you. It will sweep you coming out. He be shake it higher. He be suku ya. Oh, toka so. He ke saka. Ye be koria hata. Le be ke se ke se ke. He a kosa upon you. It's coming like many waters. It's coming like many waters. It's fresh hata. He be ke de le be ke de le ke de le ke de le ke ta. Yes, it's coming upon you. A fresh baptism. Of impartation. A fresh baptism. 
of impartation of fresh baptism. Ibo Sokota, Ibe Sukata, Lepo Kurenta, Iku Sutepa, Ege Zikesa, Roko Zukonta, Iku Repata, Lepa Kuranta, Ruko Sutata, Ika Sherenta, Libra Kupata, Ega Zunanta, Iu Jende Wahanta, Iandu Hende Kandiakwa, Kebanku Yampiatoa, Kia Poshkuantia, Ebonde Ahosha, Ebangwa Tandia, Ebankuntia and Puria, Elebekoskuanta, Io Zua, Iesia, Ruandua, Riandua, Zoya Kuskia, Pericasia, Operia Hunda, Andea, Elebeko Sata, Leki Kurianturia, Bazuron Dea, Ebonsua Hoa, Ebahoa, a fresh baptism is coming upon you. Take it. Oh, see around the cozy around the who calls the around the cozy around the around the cozy around the around the cozy around the around the he agons the around the he agons the around the he begons the around the he begons the around the he who she a man to ya he a tosa I release this word and impart you with exponential level of grace that every woman that hears my voice every woman under the sun of my voice I release upon you the grace of the Lord the grace of the Lord. I'm not sure why the Lord took me to Japan, but the grace of the Lord is coming upon you tonight. The grace of the Lord. Everyone that hears my voice, there is a grace for impartation. I'm not sure why the Lord is taking me to Asian continents. Everyone that hears my voice, tonight receive a fresh, receive a fresh, receive a fresh Receive a fresh, a fresh, a fresh mantle. Over to you, Jackie. I'm done. Over to you, Jackie. I'm done. Oh, Rabba Bashende. Oh, Kareme Kesende. I see mantles dropping. I see mantles dropping. Mashende de 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 wo skin da 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 ba sondoro. Oh raba ba 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 shende de de behe. Oh katele manana na makende de de behe ya. Oh catch the mantles. He na 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 di ando. Oh raba ba ba shende de 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 wo skataya. Oh catch the mantles. He for your time is now for the time is now for the time is now for the time is now oh catch the mantles oh the mantles are falling oh catch the mantles oh the mantles are falling oh Oh, everything that Apostle carries, uh, everything that my pops carries, uh, everything that he has talked about today, uh, the Lord has talked to me today, uh, the Lord has told me today uh, that mantles to carry are dropping, uh, mantles to carry are dropping, uh, mantles to carry are dropping. Uh, dropping uh, I see women in the spirit uh, with broad shoulders, uh, not physical, but spiritual broad Broad shoulders, oh, paramufia, shoulders to bear the weight, shoulders to bear the burdens. Oh, mantles to carry, oh, mantles to carry, oh, mantles to carry. Oh, mantles to carry. oh the Lord is speaking today. Oh, just as my father has spoken today about Elizabeth, the Lord has spoken to me. 
about mantles to carry, the mantles to carry, the mantles to carry, the mantles to to hold, the mantles to hold. You will hold your visions in your womb. For many wombs have been broken, many wombs, many wombs have been damaged, many wombs have been overturned, but the Lord, the Lord, he has made your womb to carry, he has made your womb to hold, the mantles to hold are falling now in the name of Jesus. Every miscarriage of the past is over in the name of Jesus. There will be no miscarrying of your ministry in the name of Jesus. There will be no miscarrying of your businesses, no miscarrying of your relationships in the name of Jesus. Oh, the mantle to hold in the name of Jesus. You will carry, you will not miscarry, you will carry, you will not miscarry. That says the Lord, you will carry, you will not miscarry in the mighty name of Jesus. He has made your womb ripe, he has made your womb fertile to carry. Oh, I wrote down the word full term, full term, and the Father has spoken, even in his servant, even in my Father, that your full time is here in the name of Jesus. Your womb is ripe. Your womb is healthy. You will carry the nutrients of the word in your womb and it will birth forth. It will nutri- it will birth forth that which is in your womb. It will come forth in the name of Jesus. And the Lord was speaking to me about those who are carrying their visions in a breach position. There are many who are carrying their babies in breach breach positions. When your baby is in a breach position, you are not able to push out. You are not able to give birth naturally. But I'm talking about the spiritual. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth supernaturally. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying that there is a turning around, a turning around. Yes, 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 declare it from your mouth. There is a turning around. No breach position is me anymore. No breach position is in me anymore. I will supernaturally birth forth my vision. I will supernaturally birth forth my ministry, my 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 marriage, my relationships. I will birth forth in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer will I be afraid. I hear the Lord saying, the repairers of the breach. Repairers of the breach. Yes, mantles are falling. The repairers of the breach. Mantles are falling. The repairers of the breach. Those who will train. Those who will lift up. Those who will encourage. Those who will teach. Those who will preach. The repairers of the breach. Anybody carrying a vision in a breach position. These ones are coming to turn it around. There is a turn turning around in the mighty name of Jesus and you will birth forth supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. I hear the Lord saying, bear down, bear down, bear down, bear down. Do you know what bear down means? That is what the midwife will tell you when he's telling you or she's telling you to take position, uh, to give birth. Uh, he's boskaya. Oh yes, the Lord is raising those uh, who will teach you how to exert uh, full strength uh, and concentrated attention uh, on birthing your vision uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and that is what uh, my father has done today. Uh, the Lord has called him forth as a midwife uh, to tell us to birth to bear down, to bear down, to bear down, to bear down. Bear down, bear down, bear down. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be no C-sections. It will not be by the efforts of man that you will give birth to your vision. It will not be by the, 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 the uh, propensity of man. It will not be by the intelligence and the capacities of man. Uh, but there will be a supernatural birth in uh. Oh, we thank the Lord today because you have silenced the silencer. The silencer has been silenced in the name of Jesus and mouths have been opened today. People will prophesy today. You will speak the word today. You will stand boldly. You will go forth boldly in the mighty name of Jesus. No more fear. No more intimidation. We declare. We declare in the name of Jesus that you are moving forward. We're mantled. We're mantled. We're mantled. We're mantled. We're mantled. In the mighty name of Jesus, the mantles have fallen. Catch the mantles. We declare in the name of Jesus uh, that even in this day uh, you will no longer be the same again uh, no more hiding no more muffled voices uh, no more gagging orders uh, you will speak forth the word in the mighty name of Jesus with boldness uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, oh father we give you praise we give you all the glory we thank you for today Lord we thank you for the turning around we thank you for the turning around. Father, we thank you. Maseke broska nanada batende hiya. Ora baba baskende le bossa tayaha. Eh, women are birthing forth revivals. Yes, women are birthing forth the revivals. Hence, survivalist. Hence, survivalist. Hence, survivalist. Women are birthing forth the revivals. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we thank you for this day lord thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus we thank you lord for your servant we thank you lord for my father in the lord apostle Oscar Gobadia, we thank you, Lord. We ask even today, even as those that can hear me, even under the sound of my voice, uh, lift up your voices and begin to cover the man of God. Begin to lay blessings on the man of God for what he has done here today. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your servant. We thank you, Lord, for my father in the Lord. We thank you for Apostle Oscar Gobadia. We thank you for his house. We thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you for Lady Triumph, Gobadia. Father, we thank you for all that they dispense out on us, for all that they sacrifice, for all that they invest, Father. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will surprise them, my God. Surprise them in a way that they have never even imagined, in a way that they can never even fathom. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, open doors that should not be shut and shut doors that should not be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, open heavens even upon them, even upon their house in the name of Jesus. Father, work miracles in their lives even now today. Let today be a day of shifting just as he has shifted us, oh God. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that there will be a shifting in his life. There'll be a shifting in my mom's life. There'll be a shifting Father. Take them higher, Lord. Take them deeper deeper, take them wider. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Pops, thank you so much because I know you've been teaching most of the day today. Thank you for pouring out on us. Thank you for your in the time and everything that you put into this um, conference today. And I promise that even from today, my mouth, I will open my mouth. I will let it all out. No more hiding, no more sideways, nothing. And I'm saying to everybody here today, declare it from your mouth that you are moving forward, that you are birthing revivals. Survivalists, man. So, pops, 
Do you have any last words to say? I've lost my voice. <laughs> What I want to say, um, it's about time, you know. I, I put on Facebook that it's the rise of the Elizabeth. So all the Elizabeth, not is A L I S A B I R T H. Elizabeth, it's time to rise up. The words. Yeah. yeah. I am. I am my father. Right here. I will reference you like three times, sir, and then it becomes my own. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Um, I just want to thank you for your time and thank you for your participation. And we will definitely be doing more of this. Look out. I'm going to I have a surprise for you. So just look out for the surprise. I'll be popping something up very soon. Um, just thank you so much for everything. And I would like to say also, um, if you would like to sow into this ministry, if you believe in, um, you know, what we are doing here and, you know, what it's going to become. And I would like you, it's no pressure, but I would like you to uh, consider sowing into this ministry. Um, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support. Pops, thank you so much. And I think we're going to end now. I don't think there's anything that I have missed. I think that would be it. But that, yeah. So thank you so much for your time, everybody. God bless you. And good night.